Thanks, how are you? Doing great. Just caught my eye. Yeah, what's happening? For me, I am you. Yeah, what's Thomas. happening? Joshua. Joshua. Yeah, pleasure. Sit right here? Yeah, pop a squat, man. Ugh. What are you up to today other than enjoying the somewhat beautiful weather? Man, honestly, just self care. Yeah? When I do yoga, you know. Right on. Balance some things out. Are you uh, vegan? You haven't gone down that road yet, huh? No. What's uh, holding you up? Uh, nothing really. Just uh, my daily, just my daily life, man. Yeah. Like I, don't, I feel like I don't wanna eat meat, but I'm just so used to eating meat. I don't know how to uh, shop for enough. Like I don't want to. I don't want to get too small, too. Oh yeah, you know, that's yeah. That's one thing. Like, yeah, you're a big fella, man. Yeah, and you're two seventy like, or something. I went vegan. No, no, no. I'm about two uh, two fifty. Okay. Two fifty five. I went. The biggest I was was 342, right? Yeah. That's when I was playing college football. Fullback? Uh, no, I was on the O-line. Okay. I was on the O-line. Uh, and uh, they, I just, I was, that was a very unhealthy life. I was eating a lot of the wrong stuff. Uh, so did you take like, steroids? No, never, never, no. never. Did you know teammates that took steroids? Um, I wouldn't say nobody just outwardly came out and said they did. Oh, you know, okay. I don't, I don't think I knew anybody who did it. Besides in junior college, there was one person who probably was. Oh, yeah? But yeah, somebody offered me steroids in college. I was like, nah. What do you think about uh, men who identify as women doing Olympic-type weightlifting and nah. setting world records? Think about that. What do I think about it? Yeah. Can a man identify as a female and then break women's world records? So you asked me two questions. Can a man identify as a female? In <laughs> yeah, society? well, you know. Well, you know, anything is possible. Yeah. That's what I see. But as far as a man identifying as a female and breaking records, come on, man. It's, that's just based on biology and anatomy, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. Yes. Thanks for the goalie. Y'all, oh, see, that was bad. Sorry. Yeah. I'm not doing that on purpose. Next time, kick it. Look, Just like drop that. kick it no. next time. Right, right into I think the they lake. They might want me to come play. <laughs> I'm joking, but Just yeah. drop kick it right into the lake and show them buoyancy. Mm. Yeah, man. So that I don't know. That's yeah. all I can say about that. I seen an article like that uh earlier uh -huh. on uh the internet. Can you believe it? Do I believe that article? I mean, just like, like Can where have we, like, where have we gone, we man? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta be yeah. like thirty-five, huh? No, I'm twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, right 27. on, man. We are definitely in some dark times. Oh, yeah. That's why I try to take myself care. I went through my initial shock like in 2011, 2012, and I just figured out the world just not what the masses think it is uh -huh. per se. What do you think about Mike Tyson getting angry that Wacka? Is that his name, Wacka? Got called out Tupac and said he's homosexual. Could be true. Yeah. I wouldn't deny it. Is I Tupac didn't. dead though? I don't know. Yeah. I went around him when he got shot. I don't know either. What about uh, Nipsey Hussle? Is he dead? I don't know. I mean, if we going off of what the media say, then yeah. Yeah. We going off of what the mass news is putting out. What if the character Nipsey Hussle's dead, but the man who played Nipsey Hussle he's is still alive? alive. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that's a thought that I ran across. Cause you know. It's a high level, it's a mental, it's a mental thing out here. Yeah. It's a mental thing out here. It's like we living in a matrix and that's kind of like an understatement. It's like everything is not what it seems. The truth is stranger than fiction. Well, that's what I, that's, that's my mindset. That's the life that, that's how I perceive life. Yeah, right on. And, um. But is you, would you consider it a spiritual warfare also? It is. That's yeah. what it is. That's, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it is. It's, yeah. nothing, it's nothing but that. Yeah. Just even me seeing this. Yeah. It's all synchronicity. It's all synergy. It's all related. It's all relative mm -hmm. to me in my eyes. Like, I try to pay attention to even, um, I wouldn't say just the smallest things, but I try to keep my mind open and keep my mind focused uh, to the point that I'm not missing out on what the universe is trying to show me. What do you think about thought police? Think about them. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like there might be certain ways that we could protect ourselves from thought police, but I wouldn't know how. All I try to do is um tell myself that all my thoughts are not my thoughts, and some thoughts possibly could be heard. 
Is it okay for the government to call people who question the government conspiracy theorists? Is it okay for them to do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, because that's what they did when with JFK, right? People were questioning the authenticity of said assassination, and the government deemed them as doubting state narrative. So now if I question where I live, like on a ball in outer space, yeah. I get called a name because I'm not going along with the world religion of said ball Earth. I think the Earth is a level, motionless, non-rotating plane that goes on infinitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's why I'm here. Yeah. I could agree. I don't think that uh see even just even as something as simple as the sun right here. It's something very big. And that's still an understatement going on. Like me, I'd be thinking they're blocking out the sun. They literally are with geoengineering. Yeah. 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 It's documented. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Global warming. Yeah. And so they're spraying us with particulates like we're insects. Barium and all that. Yeah, aluminum and barium. Yeah. Did you know the, what the periodic uh, labels are for aluminum and barium? B-A-A-L. Yeah, ball. Yeah. Yeah. What you think about that? Uh, well, I think it's, you know, synchronicities. Uh, it's no coincidence that the Earth rotates around the sun at 66,660 miles an hour. Mm. So, which means that was created by man. Mm. So they put themselves in the earth and in the ether, if you will, and when you see coincidence, coincidences like that, you kind of just have to step back and be like, so why do I believe paintings of outer space yeah. are real? Yeah. Because I've never been there before. Never. Uh, I've never seen Jesus Christ before, yeah. but he, the people claim that he's a Caucasian man with frail figure and long hair yeah and if you go against the status quo we all we all know what happens yeah right yeah. so status quo making things that shouldn't be normalized normalized have you seen the newest gillette commercial nope but i follow so what i try to do i try to stay from um i try to stay a lot away from my main media i don't watch television mm -hmm. you know but I did just watch this next this next I watch things that interest me. Yeah. To yeah. try to break down what's yeah. actually being said Definitely. some things. Me too. So as far as um <clears throat> man, you was just asking about uh what was it? What was it? The um Gillette. So yeah, Gillette I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. if I'm I haven't seen it, but I think I've heard about it about them trying to probably normalize what either the transgender gen yeah gender man pedophilia. Okay. So do you think black men in the sixties and fifties would allow a commercial? to come out like that because it's a black family it. yeah i haven't seen it it's but a black man teaching his trans daughter how to shave so she's taking hormone medication mm -hmm. to grow hair then to shave it off does mm -hmm. that even make any sense no isn't that just crazy white stuff i wouldn't say like, it's, can we say it's crazy white stuff or is yeah. it crazy to me it's because oh, no black person in the 50s would ever allow that to happen but now everyone has become passive but you see why yeah you see why even me sitting here Let's say um, whatever I said with you, somebody could be sitting around recording it. And let's say 10, 15, 20 years if I am blessed to be here and doing some impacting in the world. And they bring that out. Mm. And me sitting here 27 and I'm probably 15 years later, more mature in thought or whatever process, that tape could destroy everything that I didn't built in the last year. Yeah. And they set it up like that. Mm -hmm. They set it up like that. They do. Even with like me working in this field that I'm working in, you know, I'm not I'm not a hateful person at mm -hmm. all. I identify with people who, who are oppressed at the end of the day. I identify with the um I identify with not not the bully, but the person who the bully is beating on and you see how that person becomes a bully type thing. That's how my mm -hmm. thought process yeah. works. Um so with that I try not to put labels upon anything, but I also see just how how far back the world is going, how backwards we live in. <laughs> yeah, it is how a backwards, backwards world for sure. Backwards. It's like that Superman episode. I have <laughs> yeah, there's a backwards episode of Superman. I, it was a, it was originally, I think, a comic. Mm. Sometimes I'll be thinking the world be upside down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. Um, what they have done nowadays is they've turned what's good is into evil and what, what it is evil, evil is into, into good. good. So... Yeah, I enjoy uh, coming out here. It's my first 
ton. Doing what? Being out here. Okay. You, you're originally from here, though? Nah. Okay. I was born in uh, California, raised there half of my life, and then I spent the other half in Mississippi. Graduated high school and college there. Went on a journey trying to find myself after college for like a year and a half. Led me to Minnesota, Burnsville to be exact. Stayed there for a year. Then I moved downtown Minneapolis. Been there since last August. Okay. I used to live near Buck Hill a while back. Where's that at? Uh, it's the ski hill in Burnsville, in the Burnsville area. Okay, it's okay. where the people ski. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I've seen that. I've yeah. seen that. It was a long time ago. But yeah, people just seem to come here and then they never leave. <laughs> Regardless of the almost seven months of winter, it's really bizarre. But yeah. The seven months. Almost, man. Um, I mean, even this wouldn't really be considered. I mean, it is awfully windy yeah. all, all the time. Yeah. Hey, we're going into June. Yeah, and yeah, it I just mean, doesn't seem like June. But right you now. can't tell anybody that. I tell them, right. it's documented that they quote unquote fucking with the weather. But yeah. like you said, people look at. I didn't. I didn't learn to accept it. You know, mm, I learned yeah. to accept it. Like I just, I'm not trying to be woke or none mm -hmm. of that because I feel like everything just be trendy. I'm really just a. Um, a young black male, you know. Uh, that's why I'm gonna say just a young black male that is trying to find uh, my way and just trying to be righteous, man. Just you seem like a strong dark, alpha male. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of beta males running around mm -hmm. town, you know. Just yeah. and it's or or they're cucks, you know, and they bow down to women. Yeah. And they allow women to just rule over them, you know. So there's a loss of strong masculinity coming up here in this country and hey y'all y'all are gonna vote in a female president your name was? Joshua, Joshua. Yeah. I got a YouTube channel actually too how old are you I just turned 38 at the beginning hey. of the month of May man are you a spiritual person uh, quite quite a bit yeah mm -hmm. can you read minds uh, I got ESPN logged in most of the time yeah um, I think I base it on more of like circumstances and just hit people in the mouth with something and then they just step back and they're just like, wow. But they don't usually say anything, you know. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I've been in the game for a while and I've been in the truth movement for a long time, especially, you know, probably within five years of 9-11 happening. You know, and, you know, now I'm on a thought life of where I just question absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I unless I really see it. it with my own eyes, I have faith in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That spirit is truth. That spirit is truth. And you just don't see that spirit around very much, mm -hmm. you know, allowing it to be vulnerable and get mocked and ridiculed mm -hmm. because people have to see this to question everything and it sometimes takes three or four times for people to walk by to you know come up and talk to me on the table or go on my youtube channel and like comment and be like hey you know i've been watching your stuff for a really long time but man you are top notch you know and i don't do anything just, i'm just some guy you know but how i speak resonates with a certain vibration that people just aren't familiar with because they're so used to being deluded with lies that they're they're like a fish and the only time that they'll ever know truth is when they're taken out of that water. They got to be taken out and put into a different solution. And that solution has to be filled with truth. It's like the intent of putting your thoughts into something. And over a period of time, you will see that manifest. So you'll see a jar of rice either become rotten because you call it names or it becomes like just regular brown or white rice. Right. So speaking yeah. upon that, I'm... I, I don't know. I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I've been trying. Well, I want to tap into the things I used to think about when I was younger. Hopefully, I'll be I'll be thinking that it's possible for me to do that. I'll be really I'll be feeling real. Some some moments are stronger than uh, others when I be feeling connected. My spirit feels connected to the universe, or so to say that I do feel like I be having spiritual uh, gifts of powers. You know that I just don't know what it is. You know I know that um. I've been blessed uh, with certain 
things or just like vibrating at a certain frequency where I'm able to talk to anybody. You know, if anybody will talk to me, I can talk to them, you know. And I've had an interesting path my whole life, which led me to the point to where I am right now. And I know why I think the way that I do. And I know like that's one of the biggest things that I've been blessed with is this mind that, that I know overthinks. You know, I probably overthink a lot, but me overthinking has led me to seeing a lot of the truth that is out here. You know, removing that veil from my eyes. Even when I used to see the lies out here, but I would focus on like pushing myself to fit into this box, you know? Because, you know, I don't know. Growing up, it's not, you don't want to feel excluded. Mm. So now that I'm older and I'm able to, you know, kind of stand on my own, I had to take a few people off the pedestals, yeah, you know, I bet. Um, that was, uh, that I felt like conditioned me, hardships uh, conditioned me to being where I am now. And that's just like, just learning how to be self, you know, I don't know. I want to know myself. I want to yeah. know myself more. I want to know like my spirit more. I want to do more work on that than anything. So what you saying, vibrating that like the frequencies and the, like I've, I've seen experiments like that. I believe in the uh, affirmations and words and that you, you are what you think. You know mm -hmm. what you think. You yes. Definitely matters. Yep. You know, that, that, that's what I honestly believe. Mm -hmm. I used to certain things I used to say that it finally just popped up. Right. It's yeah. Like no, it, it literally popped up. Yeah. And one time, like, and it, usually, like, sometimes I'll be high, and that's when I really overthink. I remember one time I'm sitting in, uh, sitting at my job, and I'm looking out the window, and I'm thinking about. Uh, I was trying to remember this song, and this, I think it was a truck that went by that had a phrase of something that I was thinking about in my mind, and just oh, like yeah. that, I was like. I just manifest that yeah. or am I just high yeah or is this just divine timing or am I just crazy or am I always looking for something I even yeah. like I've been seeing 33s for like seeing a lot of threes and 33s for the last couple of years of my life and me trying to explain that to somebody I know that they'll look that's crazy they'll think I'm, I don't look for that yeah you're not crazy man for that. so a couple days ago a man allegedly lit himself on fire on the White House lawn guess how old he was Oh, 33. 33 years old. Allegedly, 33 years after someone had previously lit themselves on fire on the White House lawn. Another situation about that is, is you know, people um, use effigies, um, like pinatas, for example, you know, um, and they light these things on fire. And the idea is behind the scenes, there's an even higher level where there's a human being inside of that effigy. So they light the effigy on fire with that symbology out with the frontline people, but then the people behind those people know that there's a live person inside that effigy that's being burned. So there's an ex there's so there's the question is is what's more powerful, the people who believe the lie or the people who believe that the truth. The truth. And the, it's more powerful to give out a lie and have people believe that than just be honest. Like people honestly ignorantly and naively believe the government is honest with them mm -hmm. even about where they live mm -hmm. and they're like they're, they have this pride about them that they would never be lied to about stuff and when I was out yesterday I was asking people just that very thing because it came on the news and it was on Minnesota Public Radio yeah they believe it without even fact-checking you gotta be true so that is a re that's their religion <clears throat> You know, they have to believe that because if they don't, they'll be called conspiracy theorists and they can't ever bring that up with their family. They can't ever bring up with their family, hey, you know what, I don't really think that that, that man who burned himself on the lawn is real. Their family would look at them and be like, probably roll off their back and be like, okay, do you want some more food? You know, just kind of like dismiss it as if to say like, you're talking crazy though. And that's a cult, that, that's cult-like behavior. Cult -like behavior. That's policing thoughts and saying, no, 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 you need to get back here in line, okay? Mm -hmm. Or there's going to be consequences. Mm -hmm. And those consequences are usually just psychological, being called names, as if to prod you back into the fold so that you'll just walk straight and right. And the, a lot of testimonies of like the Mormon church, you can hear similarities where you'll get just completely ostracized from your family if you leave that church. Scientology is the same thing. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, they do. They do kind of like that. They do. Yeah. Yeah. But I just grown to accept that.
else I understand just more you know mm -hmm. I just, I can, and I, I gotta understand more or I'll be walking around you know just always feeling like somebody owes me something and I'll be placing <laughs> the blame on them you know mm, they did the best they could do with the conditions that they grew up in mm -hmm. so me being the person that I am I, I can't say that I'm mad for anything that I went through because it led me to this thought mm -hmm. process that I had now it led me to want to know the truth so I can't say everything happened for a reason then be mad for things that happened that I didn't like. Yeah, right. So it was like, you know, it, it, was, it was meant for me to grow up. Yeah, you can't be <clears throat> you can't be upset at yourself when you first read the Bible and you're like, wow, Solomon had asked for wisdom and knowledge and just and over uh, money and power and everything. Like, and when you do receive that over a period of time, you do realize the consequences of such a ask is and you know be careful what you ask for and pray for but you you should be prepared because most of the people that do ask that um have a sense about them that they know things will get stirred up as time progresses you know and that's that's the best part about it is it just creates new journeys and adventures you know because then you're seeking truth you're not just idle and retired and collecting seashells as you walk around Lake Calhoun. You know, you're out. That's the time when you start sharing your thoughts and your ideas with the younger generation to help influence and not have this all happen again. I mean, are we really going to be doing this again for the next 20 or 30 years? I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. So, you know, one mind at a time, but it's a process like with these young people. How you doing? Good. I'm doing well, thanks. How about yourself? Not too bad. I'm a little curious. Squat. Yeah, I'm <laughs> curious too. What do you uh, got a question about? I don't know. I just, uh, I've been a physics and astro major, uh, astrophysics major the past four years, uh, but okay. as a scientist, I'm naturally curious. So yeah, I'm, trying I'm a scientist to, too. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I guarantee. Uh, yeah. I'm just kind of curious, like what led you to the, like this kind of conclusion? I, I'd like to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if you look behind you, right, there's water. Yeah, I see that. A lot of water. Um, when there's no wind and there's no white capping of water, could we agree that it could almost be like a mirror and be like glass? The water? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just it could like, be that yeah. calm, uh -huh. right? So that would be a lake, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so in your mind, somehow through the process of your education, they told you that over a distance with a certain amount of water, it will eventually gradually bend to create a sphere that you see in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Why? And what is that again? What's the term? Uh, I, I guess flat, but I... No, I, no, no. I, yeah. what, what is the term that is used to make water gradually curve? Just uh, water will fit to the surface that's holding it, right? Okay. Or, gravity, yeah. maybe? Gravity? Yeah, yeah. gravity. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. Alright, so now we're on the same page. Yeah. But we just recently agreed that water lays level and flat and looks like a mirror behind you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, but so how does it curve and bend? Well, uh, this is some... Uh, and can you demonstrate do you, it? Do you know a little bit of calculus? A, a little bit? I don't know the language of math magic. No. Okay. But um, I do know the language of your spirit. Yeah, uh, that would show this is this is something that's okay. like yeah, uh, at least from the, just, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, for yeah. Layman's terms, just for, uh, uh, from the techniques that I've used, like this is a very common like approximation uh, thing. Is that uh, this circle, right? Mm -hmm. You can almost think of it as uh, an infinite number of infinitely small lines that are going together. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you're looking at such a small type of like area compared to the entire size of the Earth, mm -hmm. uh, there's this thing of like local linearity. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? So, like, things hey, will. Yeah. Pleasure. At, like, uh, at small distances, things will appear linear. So, I think that this is kind of like this is a very small fraction of the Earth's radius, okay. I guess. Yeah, sure. So, I was just kind of wondering, like, uh, it might appear flat here, but that's only because we're only looking at a very small area. So, uh... Totally understand. Is, is there, is there, uh, yeah, so what is what is the circumference and radius of your ball Earth you live on? Uh, I, I don't know to an exact thing. It's like... 86,000 miles. Is it 86,000? 
is the, yeah. the radius. I usually just Google it, so yeah. Right. 86, huh? 86, no. 86,000 miles? No, 8,000 8, seconds. It's like, uh, it's like 10 to the 4th kilometers, at least on that order. So you don't know? No, it's, it's on that order, at yeah. least. So the circumference is 24,901 miles. Okay. Okay. And then the radius. So about ten to the fourth. And the radius yeah. is four thousand miles. Okay. Yeah. So how high do you have to be to see the ball Earth? Um, I'd have like to. Like curvature and stuff. How far? How far would you? Holy buckets! Wow. Andy M. Andy M. That's a lot. That way for now until the tornado leaves us. <laughs> Um, I didn't get out my. I didn't get my pen and paper. Dude. Yeah, sure. This is a new myself. thing. So, but so I guess like to kind of get to the point here, you feel like I'm crazy, and I don't know what I'm talking about. But you don't know anything. Oh, I'm about ready to your, listen for sure. Though. No, yeah. but I know. <laughs> but and and I just want to be frank with you because I, I really want you to understand where I'm coming from. Absolutely. I We're know. Real I know here. a lot about your ball earth that you believe you live on. Yeah, okay. Um, it's kind of akin to not just believing on Jesus Christ as a golden ticket into heaven. Uh -huh. Like, I really know why I believe on Jesus Christ. Yeah, Like, I okay. know what he did for Absolutely. me. Absolutely, yeah. So I know this, I know your ball earth, and I have a pretty good understanding of the calculations that are used to prove your ball earth. And we can yeah, see okay. things too far over a body of water. So how high do you have to be, and how much water does there have to be to see it bend and turn into a sphere? Yeah, you have I mean, to know uh, how yeah. high from the surface of the Earth you have to be to uh, see curvature. Yeah, like I said, I need a pen and paper to actually work know. out the trigonometry. Okay. But I don't know exactly at this moment. Yeah, no yeah. problem, man. Um, what I can do for you um, in the meantime is I have a YouTube channel and whatnot. It's oh, Authentic really? Intent. Because you're going to be on YouTube, right? Oh, so, yeah, everyone's on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're awesome, literally going to be on YouTube later on this week. Yeah, so, awesome. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you don't you don't know how high you have to be, though? Uh, not off the top of my head, Okay, no. there is, that's actually a trick question. You, don't, you can't get high enough as a human being to see curvature. Yeah, okay. It's always going to be level, <laughs> and the horizon will always be flat and level. Uh huh. You know, within so, your within your equilibrium, because you have to you have an equilibrium, right? To know like if you're on your side or anything like that. Because if you stay on your side or upside down, br blood rushes to your head and you get dizzy, right? So you have uh, to get up. Yeah, that's that's true. But isn't that a result of like gravity? Like, how do you explain how we actually stay on the Earth? Is that the fat? Like, what is of, gravity? Uh, I mean, it's just the force that pulls pulls us down. And okay, it's, what it's is the, the string that's yeah. pulling? us down what is the string uh as far as like i've researched and learned it's like there's a particle called a graviton mm -hmm. and uh, there's wave particle duality so there's gravitational waves that how do makes... you measure gravitational waves in a vacuum without a medium without a medium mm -hmm. uh i mean a graviton's a particle yeah, right so right. you can actually uh and the effect of that particle is that it actually bends the space that's it, it bends space, right? Yeah, uh, so, space isn't. Uh, so you think gravity is the bending of space time and not mass attracting mass? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, okay. uh, even I, though you've I never witnessed that, that before, I wouldn't say that. I think they're both the same thing. Okay, so it's to a like extent. it's like the trinity. Mass is, is mass that what you're is, saying um, they can't live exclusive from one not another. Not that uh, it's just that uh, it depends on the scale at which you're using the the math. Okay, right? how, how what is the mass of the earth and how was it measured? Um basically just uh it, it goes all the way back to Kepler basically. Okay. It's like the mass Is of that the a planet. profit of yours? Uh I wouldn't call him a prophet, but I I believe like the you met him things, before, though, right? No, he was oh. born in like the 1600s or something. Oh, so but uh, I, I, believe I, met, I read a lot about some people in the Bible, right? And I choose to believe them. I've never Absolutely. met them before. Yeah, just saying, you know. Yeah, no, it I'm makes choosing sense. to believe them. You yeah, know? It, that that is definitely a choice. But yeah. um, I think one of the things I came over to like ask about is like um, a sphere seems like a natural shape, right? No, it doesn't. Can you is it not? can you show it naturally? I mean, I mean uh, out and about is, without a, is a circle a natural shape? A circle, yes, it is round. Mm -hmm. it, it just round. But I, I think the thing that makes a lot of sense about it is that. Um, yeah. Every point on it is the same yeah. distance yeah. distance apart, and I think you know as well as me that we live in a like a three dimensional world, right? We live in a pressurized system, also, which is why you have a sphere. Which is why when you blow a bubble, you have the spherical shape because pressure is equal on all three hundred and sixty degree sides of it. Correct. So, 
Well, uh, you, when well, you're dealing when, you, when you're dealing with like spheres, you can't deal with degrees. You got to deal with like steradians. Yeah, okay. Right? I, so, I see where you're coming from. Because uh, I guess what I'm asking is like we do live in a three dimensional world, right? I could, yeah, well, I yeah. Could agree with that. Uh, I think my question is like if a, if a circle is natural in two D, we're talking about a circle, not a sphere, though. So yeah, show yeah. me it in an, in the natural environment in which we live without blowing a bubble or going underwater and exhaling. I mean, I mean, this is a sphere, right? It, this it's exists a, in three dimensions. Somebody made that, yeah, right? That's not real. Yeah, yeah. Somebody made it, but like it exists in three dimensions. Correct? It exists because man made it. So show me a sphere that nature and our creator. I, I guess uh, by by dimension, I mean. Um, They're spheres. I guess uh, we have. An, Prove it. We have an up. We have this direction and we have that direction. Yes. That's that's three things. Yep. That's of your direction that we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just kind of wondering, like, if a circle makes sense, like every point on that circle is uh, equidistance from that center. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just kind of wondering why a sphere doesn't kind of like generalize okay. a little bit. Are like, your why eyeballs can't... spheres? Oh uh, no, they're a little. They're a little off it. They're, okay. they're a little. They're, they're, they have a little bit of. Uh, so could you the proper vernacular be oblate? Possibly. Yeah, a little bit, but uh, would oblate. you say the Earth is oblate? Uh, it actually, from what I've like studied, egg -shape -ish. yeah, from what I've studied, it's a little wider at the equator. Okay, uh, like just how much? That, that's um, not very much. Okay. It's uh, mm -hmm. compared to the the actual circumference of the Earth, it's negligible. Okay, but and that's mostly due to tidal effects from like the Moon and the Sun, at least from what I've studied. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just like um, to humor me, I guess the all of you, when you think of flat Earth, what do you think of? Do you think of a disc floating in outer space like this I guess, yeah, and just probably. replace it with a sphere? Yeah. Well, well actually, I think of a like, flat square. Okay, cool. Yeah, Fair enough. I agree with that. Okay. From the yeah. people that I've seen that advertise the same thing as you. Right. I've, they say that so it's I have like a, a flat question, square. Though, I what if, have an hold on, can I just respond yeah, to that yeah, and then yeah, I'll get back yeah. to you? Um, what if those uh, entities were government officials trying to obfuscate the idea that the Earth is a level infinite? Plane. Well, well, they haven't been, but UN. if they were, I s they will be your police soon. So yeah. Sure. No, that's fine. But I still wouldn't really have a different. So you wouldn't even. So. It doesn't matter your status, you know. Yeah, I mean, but no I'm just saying, like, would you use critical thought? Would you use critical thought and say, no, hey, you know what? I don't. I, I don't I think it's a square. I never I just listen. Okay. Right on. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just. I was wondering what your answer would be to a satellite circling around the sphere yeah sure um well let me let me address this this disc floating in outer space okay. um water wouldn't be able to fall off the edge and fall into outer space because it would boil I just, did. just you know by thermodynamics and whatnot it would like is that boil. just because there's no pressure there um well yeah i mean but i'm just yeah. like humoring okay. the idea okay it's okay. literally not that at all yeah, i i, I feel it. very strongly it's an infinite plane where water, resources, and land just continue on infinitely forever. So okay. even this projection of the Asimov equidistant Gleason's map is a projection, just like your globe Earth is. Yeah, okay. But I feel very strongly that the Earth goes on infinitely, and there are no ends, borders, or anything. The only end is your own personal mind and the limitations that were set to you by the government. Yeah, okay. I, I, I think I guess yeah, my... Yeah, you got a question? I, have a question. Yeah. I don't know much about this. I'm yeah, not no, a business major, and I don't know. <laughs> Half the shit you guys are saying, but here's another question. Unless you've been tricked this whole time, why from like satellites, are you gonna give me one of these things? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> why from satellites do we see a, a sphere? Okay, sure, yeah. Like so, uh, you know, let me just I mean, ask you a question. What is, a the, things, what is the proper size you know, of America? Do you happen to know? What's that? This is what, what is the proper America? size of America? Like, there's two different pictures. Oh fuck if I know. I would guess a smaller one, but that's probably the wrong guess. The one on your left. Yes. Right? Yeah. Just because it's covered by the clouds, uh, though. Okay. Yeah. What if they were both the know. same diameter, the circles? Let's just say that they're the same diameter because yeah. they look like the same diameter. Sure. Is the circle on the right smaller? Yeah. No, nope, they're both the same CD, size. if it was a CD, if it was just flat, wouldn't we kind of have a picture from like the satellites or like the astronauts what if you or all the stuff that goes in space that goes oh, around? What's what's to say that we didn't like go up in space and go on the side of the Earth versus like the front of it? <laughs> yeah. You know, like what? Huh? Let's what? let's stick to just one thing and we'll progress totally. this thought. Okay. Totally. So regardless, these are both .gov NASA images. These are Photoshop. These are not real. These are composites. How do you know that? Could be. Because they tell you. Okay. 
please, a bunch of pictures put together. Please investigate. You can take that DVD if you want. But basically what they're doing is they're using high altitude balloons and they're just scanning a flat level plane, okay? Yeah. And then they're turning it into a composite, into a ball. Can I actually take this CD? You can actually take it, yeah. I have a, I have a question as well. Yeah. What would the government have to gain from That's my exact question. Yeah. Lying yeah. yeah. to us about True. the shape of the earth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you That's never a good answer question. my question about what if you're in the side of the earth yeah. versus Yeah. So, the yeah, let's yeah. we'll get to motive here. So let's just finish sure. this thought, okay? Yeah. So, have you ever seen this ball Earth from outer space? No, no. I've okay. not been to outer space. I haven't either. I have not either. Okay. So what are the odds? No, there's over 500 people that have been in outer space, and there's 12 who have landed on the moon. Okay. So. Right, wait, it's a fraction. Okay, so can, That's basically can we just nothing. allow yeah, this yeah, thought to absolutely. continue, please? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. So you've never seen this before, right? Correct. So you're basing your belief on where you live, right? On someone else's testimony and government officials. Is that any different than a Catholic or a Muslim believing in their church? Uh, uh, I think a little bit because you can okay. uh, you can definitely take just a just a homemade almost a homemade telescope and look up and see planets and they're circular. Okay, right? you can you, they put a mirror on somewhere else where you can beam it back to your eyes and see this. Mm. What? Who's they? Okay, okay. Who's so so where, where, where would the mirror be? Can you just calm down? Okay, I, I'm perfect. I know, but we're we're going on a thought here, right? Yeah. So let's just. So, so he brought up the, the topic of telescope, but does your telescope, you being on Earth, give you this image? Yeah, of uh, Earth? no, it does. I'm just wondering, like, um, we can see circular things out there. Okay, so your logic I was just, is... I, I was just wondering why would Earth be different, I guess. It is a circle, yes, but yeah. you're a sphere. You cannot tell if something's a sphere in, a, in quote, outer space unless yeah, you get... Yeah, unless what? Uh -huh. You get on the other side of it, right? Yeah, because totally. then to your perspective, it's just a circle and but it's round. It be, so it yeah, yes, circle I, and be infinite. Why don't we have question. pictures of the. Okay, so let's, can, let's just finish this thought, okay? So then yeah. we can get, get to something uh, else. Totally. My point is that you've never seen the Earth from this perspective before. Yeah, yeah. This is not where you live then. That's, um. Okay? I think. Because you've never yeah. seen this before. This yeah. I'm trying to help you understand that you believe on faith that this is where you live. No different than the faith that needs to be had yeah. of a man walking on water. And to be honest with you, this you need more faith to believe it here than a man walking on water. Yeah, I, I, I think okay. my original question was, uh, <clears throat> so that's there, but like, I'm just wondering why oh, no. we see a lot of certain, even regardless, like we see a lot of circular stuff in the yep. sky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just wondering like why that stuff would be different than Earth. Yeah, because what if space is water? And there's a ceiling above us, and it's a particular substance, a liquid substance that may or may not be 100 or 150 miles high that you've never been before, and I've never been before. Uh -huh. We're just talking, right? Yeah, absolutely. So what if those lights in the sky have a certain harmonics and vibration, and they're light? And each one is individual because it has a particular frequency to it. Have you ever had that plate where it's uh, yeah. metal and you put sand on it and you vibrate it with the violin string? Yeah, I think yeah, the thing those that, are your thoughts. Yeah, the thing also. that makes me a little curious about like, as you're talking about light, is like light is, as far as I've studied, a fundamentally like three dimensional phenomenon. Okay. Because uh, as far as I know, we've got an electric part, like a wave, mm -hmm. and there's a magnetic part as well sure and there's also a direction of travel so like there's three dimensions there and as far as we can tell the what's his, what's we uh just i i would say uh like just scriptures you've read scientific just, just i guess yeah my scientific scriptures yeah. okay sure well, so uh um, i just want clarification uh, okay yeah, yeah. yeah that's what he wanted i know that you are a bit inebriated and you might be a little impatient, but please... No, it's alright. Uh, so, uh, as far as I've t uh, I can tell, there's like a lot of dependence on just, um... I didn't distance. say that, man. Don't imply that. <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, I did imply it. <laughs> There's a lot of, like, distances involved. There's not necessarily a direction that's always involved. Yeah. I'm wondering why that direction can't sway over an entire sphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get where you're yeah. coming from. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you can't see it as a sphere because you can't get up there to go around it and orbit. Yeah, I, I it think and I'm still out. just going back to like spheres in general. I know, but you still yeah. haven't shown me a sphere, a natural sphere here in nature. Bacteria. I, I mean, I just is, isn't this. Th this has three dimensions, this was, right? I don't. I really don't think you're following me here, bud. 
Okay. This was made by a man in a factory. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was, yeah. This was made by a man in a factory. But it still has... Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. This was made by a man in a factory. Uh -huh. Show me a sphere, demonstrate one now that can be produced naturally. Or show me something. In nature, a sphere. I mean, that it's some, like... like National Geographic has taken a picture of and said, here's a natural occurring sphere that's not an exhalation of water, under, yeah. air underwater, or someone blowing bubbles. Yeah, I get that. I mean, uh, to a certain extent, like, a sphere is basically... You can imagine it is oblate. Right. You can have I can't imagine. Spheres. I don't want to imagine. I want okay, to see. Okay. I want to see this demonstrate. It's like um, I, I guess what I'm not going at like there doesn't need to be a perfect sphere or anything. Okay. Uh, I think what I'm wondering about is just like I'd like to see things in three dimensions, and I feel I like even if you I know look you at, would like to, but you're believing yeah, them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I mean um. I have a head, right? Yes. And there's a yeah. there's a this way, there's a this way, and yep. there's a this way. Symmetry, right? And yeah, there's symmetry a symmetry. Yeah. Would show that. Yes. Okay. And I'm just saying, like, I think that uh, we don't need a perfect sphere in nature. I think just the fact that I can see three dimensions even on my head, mm -hmm. and like you can imagine moving that mass in such a way that it's uniform, you can create a sphere. Of have you ever watched Star Trek The Next Generation before? I've not. Have you used to watch Star Trek The Original with uh, Captain Kirk? Yeah, I'm just I'm just not a huge TV guy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, right on. There's a <laughs> yeah, character right. on there called Spock. Yeah, I know Spock. Okay, yeah. yeah, so you know Spock. He uses, what does he always tend to lean towards in his thought life? Logic, right? Logic, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Is it logical to assume that you feel the Earth is a ball because you were born into this reality and the government what i feel uh kind of push this narrative in our reality that we lived in yeah. so your your logic would say if this is a sphere then those are spheres yeah maybe so, to, uh, yeah right? maybe to some extent i just think that um just from what i can tell like a sphere is very <laughs> natural shape and i've done uh just math that has proven has been proven right by results and everything just okay. experimentally that was math created while you were alive um like is it a pro did you was it cre i mean yeah. uh, to be honest i don't think that math were cars created while you were alive nope i grew i was born into a reality with cars already yes but yeah. cars still exist right they're hey, still real. yeah that's good Lewis. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so, right. So if math was created before you and well, I like, and that, everybody... That, that's the thing Just that, hold on. Yeah, okay. Um, if math was created before you and I and her were born, no offense, Lois. Yeah, absolutely. But <laughs> then that would mean that very intelligent people may or may not have been able to use maths to give you your reality. To, yeah. Because they've been along, around for so long that they could say, well, let's say the horizon is prospectively average three to five miles away because of our human perspective, right? Okay. Water vapor in the air, air temperature, yeah. and water temperature, yeah, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, okay, so, and then what if you're born into it and then you're given the mass and of course it's going to equal up to your observations. Yeah, yeah, right? I just think that uh, the thing about math is that, as far as from what I've studied, uh, it, it's timeless. Is it can always be re-derived. Okay. To a certain extent. So that's why I don't really view math as being created, but is just existing to a certain extent. Okay. It's just, uh, it's, it's always a discovery been there. that we made. It's a discovery that we oh, made. Oh, okay. Start so with that, and then... that doesn't that make any sense. You can discover something and create it at the same time? I don't know. Um, really Christopher Columbus? I would say that math was really discovered as much as uh, there's a certain order. In there the is universe. a certain order. There's a certain yes. order, yeah. Can I just interject about math? Absolutely. Okay, I've got four million dollars and I spend two million today. How many how many how many millions will I have tomorrow? Uh are you spending any more after that two million? Because if you're not then two million. Okay, the thing is I don't have two million. <laughs> so, I mean, the thing is, the, the mass can work out, but it's not necessarily based on reality. Oh, yeah, yeah. I absolutely, yeah. like, that's a, honestly a, that's a pretty intelligent point to make, is because, like, honestly, a lot of the time, physicists, it's been proven wrong and wrong again. If you look at science in, like, the 1900s and everything, people were talking about this thing called the ether, uh, which way they were talking about... When they were looking at like the electromagnetic radiation, essentially light, like they said there has to be something in which it's going through, and uh, they created this phenomenon called the ether, and uh, it was found out they 
made, you can definitely force things mathematically to a certain extent, but uh, I think that there's definitely math that works. Okay. Do you feel like um, you need pressure to move things? Uh, you definitely need force. You don't need pressure. Really? Uh, well, pressure pressure, is pressure is a force per area. Okay. Uh, force is just... Uh, I, I guess I'm narrowing this down to one dimension. Yeah, 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 I think so. Uh, let's just, because that, that'll just make it as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. But uh, to move an object in one direction, uh, the force in that direction will move an object uh, uh, from what I've studied according to Newton's laws. Okay. Um, it's difficult for us to imagine infinite. I feel like I said before, the Earth is an infinite yeah. plane, and I feel it has a ceiling that goes on infinitely also. Does that make sense? Yes. In, okay. Yeah, yeah. So what if our creator created us in a pressurized system where there's a pressing down of, I don't know, 14.6 PSI or something like that? Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever so it's like a pressure, yeah. it's like a pressure and a pressing of down, a pressing. Yeah, I've pressure. also, uh, rather rather than also pull, yeah. are you saying, rather than, I've yeah. also heard the argument, yeah. yeah. rather than that gravity's pulling us down, we're being pressed down? Yeah. Okay. I've also heard the argument that uh, the reason that gravity works is that we're accelerating up at the rate of gravity do you have a problem with that or is the press i do have a problem with that because okay. the earth is a non-rotating motionless plane and there is no exterior outer space for us to okay, so go up from so what would be your control to show us moving upwards in the sense that our star trails have been the same for thousands of years our constellations are the same yeah. so there's no kind of parallax that can be observed yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, I like think Scott um, and stuff. Yeah, that's a fair point. I th just think that, um, yeah, that pressing definitely makes sense a little bit. I definitely get that. Um, I and think, so with uh, that thought, what if we lived in kind of an electric type of an environment, and the higher you got, there was more electricity, and this guy that I've never met before, named Tesla, was able to build a structure that would harness that electricity, and everybody could walk around this is always charged my cell phone's always charged because it's emitting itself through the quote ether right and we're able to have is it, things is that something do you infinite, believe in an ether i believe in, a, in i believe in some kind of a water vaporish medium that we live in right now okay. that has possibilities of being electrified some okay. way electricity right yeah because it's deionized yeah, yeah right course. so if with that being said with the geoengineering idea could they be spraying the skies to electrify the environment more to make data travel further maybe like here is earth that we would represent as earth right mm -hmm. but what if way over here that takes two weeks to get to like i said it was an infinite plane they're just starting up a new civilization and they need the ether magnetized so that they can send data that goes a week's worth away faster so when you when okay. lois and i say hey you know that outer space thing we're going to be able to transmit all of our data over here okay but her and i know that it's a plane here yeah when we say outer space to you the layman you think of up here so yeah. we're back here like snickering but you guys are totally clueless because you think that up, yeah. up there is satellites floating even though every satellite you google image looks like that yeah a cgi image i think my next question is when you're talking about like there's a magnetization and you're sending it faster mm -hmm. uh in the in, in like the 1900s when einstein theorized that the fastest things could go would be the speed of light mm -hmm. do you believe in kind of a cap on like how fast you can possibly go or no i um I don't. I feel like our creator is here and we could get up to right about here in thought. I feel just in, like just in thought or uh, spatially? Or? I feel like thoughts are faster than light in my opinion. Okay. I feel like our thoughts and our our way to communicate is I think I think verbally talking is completely primitive in my opinion. I primitive, okay. Yeah, I okay. feel like I feel like talking through our mind and using symbols on walls and stuff like that is much more intelligent design for yeah. us to be able it to understand. Right yeah, uh, yeah no, I, like characters just, uh, in Chinese, for example. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Uh, you just brought it. You said like intelligent design. Are you? Yeah. Uh, do you believe in evolution? I'm just. Uh, no, absolutely not. No. Can't okay. grasp that. Right. And one thing that flat Earth does is it totally obliterates that idea because outer space isn't real. 
We were created instantaneously. We are the chicken. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? We uh-huh. were created like so we are So you're saying now. that question doesn't even matter yeah. because we were there right away. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so the thought of our creator has always existed. We are just his characteristics and there's eight billion characteristics yeah, of we him. were created in the form of him of him yeah, yeah right. okay. so yeah. he is infinite so we will always forever perpetually have infinite thought and different looking people and there's even a website now that uses math and fractals to uh, make faces are you familiar with that called really? deep fakes no i haven't heard yeah. of that. that's deep called deep fakes that. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have another question. You keep saying him, mm-hmm. and that means yeah. that you believe that our our God has gender. He is male, our creator. I feel our creator has a masculine tone more so than okay. a feminine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that was it. Especially in the Old Testament. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's interesting. Uh, I was wondering, I read about something just very recently in a book that I was reading. Mm-hmm. Um, it was talking about maybe hidden codes that were written in the Old Testament or the yeah, New Testament or right. anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they were looking at like, oh, if we took every 50th character of every first word of every verse mm-hmm. or just stuff like that. I was kind of wondering if you believed in like those sorts of things like belonging in there. Uh, to an extent. Are you familiar with the term gematria? I'm not. Yeah, I'm you should check it out. Especially if you like sports. I mean, yeah, we both know. So. <laughs> yeah. Are you familiar with gematria? I'm not. Yeah, no. okay. So it's the... Uh, Kind of the art of turning numbers into words and vice versa. Kind of like a code almost. Yeah, A, B, C, okay. 1, yeah. 2, 3, right? Uh-huh. But then Z, Y, X is 26, 25 and whatever. And if you get to be familiar with, I have like a basic 101 idea of Gematria. Um, but if you see the coding in news titles and stuff like that, the way that they word things equal up to certain numbers that are intentional to them. It's a language to Okay, them. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I was reading about a little mm-hmm. bit, yeah. Yeah, so like the number system in Gematria, they, people would say in the Gematria idea, they're claiming that numbers in our letter system that we see as English was created just for that reason. Yeah. To communicate messages and stuff. Yeah, through yeah, numbers and yeah. words. Yeah. yeah that's very so, and then math would be the language of said explanation of our reality. So they're incorporating math into letters and words and stuff like that. So it, it's so, all uh, correlates you, with each other. Do you believe that our creator like encoded some sort of some sort of order into our universe in the form of math so that we're I, able to figure things out? I see where you're coming from, man. I just don't think we can describe it. I think it's okay. blasphemous for us to describe his synchronicities. Okay. okay. You know, so, does that make sense? A little bit. Yeah. Coincidences, but right? Did, do you think um, that he would have left anything for us to figure out? Yeah, or? a book yeah. that tells us who he is and yeah. his character. <laughs> <laughs> and the ups and downs of it sucks to be a human being, but if you just press through all those negativities and you just seek him first, things will just work out. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. all I see. Yeah. So do. Do flat earth and religion work hand in hand? Do they support each other? Is that Lois can answer this question? I'm agnostic. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, I. And like he keeps talking about our creator, and that's why this all makes sense. Is that yeah. we don't understand it because somebody else created it. So how? Where? Where is your standpoint from if you don't believe that there's some creator that made us all, and you still believe in the flat earth? Well, you know, again, it's agnostic. We don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Ag- so you still allow for the possibility of a creator then? Uh, anything's possible. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, Interesting, yeah, thank that. you. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I would uh, kind of go along those lines, and I actually had your thought more. I looked at this from more of a scientific nature when yeah. I first got into it. I had absolutely no idea that a level, non-rotating plane was mentioned in the Bible until many months really? after. I didn't know until you just said it. Yeah. Very yeah. interesting. So there's a lot of interesting scriptures out there that would convey uh, uh, that. Yeah. And it's fascinating. It so really I guess is. my question is that, do you believe in uh, like a sun's rotating above that? I, I have a feeling that the North Pole and our sun and our moon and maybe or maybe not a dark entity that causes these eclipses really? have yeah. some kind of uh, relationship with the North Pole. 
Really? The magnetic, yeah. yeah. Does that have anything to do with like the aurora borealis? Or yeah, I think it does. Yeah. 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 Okay. So Sorry, whether the whether the sun circuits around close to the Earth like this, and then as it becomes winter, goes closer to the quote Antarctic uh, circle, or if it uh, vortexes and spirals up and okay. gets bigger and closer. Oh, wow. yeah. And that's then does this. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So. Those are some other thoughts that go yeah. along with the idea of flattery. So uh, I, th I think we're going to go back and hang out with the well, friends, appreciate but uh, love, I appreciate man. your time. Joshua. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Lois, thank you. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah. Cheers. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you too.